live from Vsauce Studios in Los Angeles, California, this is Michael Stevens Living Live with your host, Michael Stevens! Christmas time is right around the corner. You guys know what that means, right? <laughs> it's time for festive stuff like Santa Claus and funny sweaters and peanut butter and seagulls. By the way, do you guys know why seagulls fly around the sea? Well, because if they flew around the Pring, they'd be Pringles. <laughs> okay, you know, if they flew around a mug, they'd be Muggles. <laughs> Harry Potter. <laughs> Quidditch. <laughs> Hermione. <laughs> And if they flew around the bay, they'd be bagels. <laughs> Today, we're going to learn how to cut a bagel into two halves that are complete but interlocked using the geometry of a Mobius strip and a technique I learned from George Hart. Before we start poking bagels, we should start by looking at a strip of paper. Specifically, a strip of paper made of two strips that we imagine to be one strip with a green side and a red side. Now, if I take this strip and create a hoop like this, I connect the red side back to the red side and the green side back to the green side. So you can travel in one direction along one colored side and never leave, never make it to the other side. If I then took a knife and cut right in between both layers, all the way around, I could separate the inside and the outside, the green side from the red side, and get myself two hoops. But now, watch what happens if I take this strip of paper with a red side and a green side, and before I make the hoop, I give the strip one turn, a 180 degree twist. Now, when I create the hoop, the green side will connect to the red side. And on the other side, green connects to red. So now we no longer have two distinct sides that are red and green. They're both connected and continuous. I'm going to use some tape to connect them here. And then I'll show you what I'm talking about. This, of course, is a Mobius strip. And it has some amazing properties. It only has one side because the sides that used to be different are now connected. If you travel along red, you'll eventually get to green. And if you travel along green, you'll eventually get back to red and so on all the way around. You'll pass through every color, which now means that if I take a knife and separate along that you know, narrow edge to separate the green and the red, I don't. I just wind up with one big hoop. It's continuous. This shape only has one side. But Mobius strips can be made with more than just a 180 degree twist. Watch what happens if I have a strip with a green side and a red side, and I twist not just once, 180 degrees, but twice, 360 degrees. Well now, when I make the hoop, green connects back to green and red connects back to red. So now I, I do actually have two different sides, a red side and a green side that are separate from one another because by traveling around green, I come back to green and over and over again, and I don't ever make it to red. But something quite interesting has happened because of those two twists. Let me now, after taping them together, separate. Oh, look. I do, in fact, have two separate hoops but they are interlocked. Pretty neat. To see why that happens, let's use some string. I find this demonstration particularly clear. Now what I'm gonna do is make a hoop of string out of the green and a hoop of string out of the white. The white is gonna go on the outside. Although these two strings are separate, think about them as being together, representing two sides of the same object. For example, when I put a green and a red strip together, 
so that I had two sides that could then be separated down that narrow edge. That's what we're doing here. The green string represents the inside face and the white string represents the outside face. And separating the, the strips of paper like this is accomplished by separating the strings. They're already separate, but that makes this easy to do. Now, watch what happens when I connect the ends of the string like that. Well, that's just like making a hoop. It's exactly like taking this strip and making a hoop like that. Green connects back to green, white connects back to white, and I have two separate hoops. But what if before I connect them, I take one side and I give it a twist, a 180 degree twist, which looks like this. Well, now green connects to white, green connects to white, and we no longer have two separate hoops because white begins and ends at green, and green begins and ends back at white. So this is actually just one hoop that is twice as long. And I can show that by taping these sides together. There we go. And there we go. Oh yeah, got them. What used to be two hoops is now one big hoop. Pretty amazing, right? Okay, now let us do this again, but instead use two 180 degree twists. That is, we will create, well not we'll create, we will accomplish a 360 degree twist. Just wanna get some of that tape off. Perfect, now we're ready. We'll start again. Here is green, okay? And here is white. Very good, very good. Now instead of twisting green and white 180 degrees, we're going to twist them 360 degrees. Ooh, look what's happening right here, okay? Keep your eyes right here. The two strings are separate. I twist them 180 degrees, and now they've crossed over each other. This creates that big long hoop, but if I twist them again, another 360, now they're interlocked. Of course, green is now gonna connect back to green and white to white. We have two separate hoops, but look, they're locked together. To truly see that this has happened, let me connect the ends. Beautiful. Now, instead of having two separate hoops that are completely separate from one another, or just one big hoop, I truly do have two hoops. How about that? This is what we're going to do when we cut our bagel. Let's go back to the strips of paper. Okay, we have a red side and we have a green side. Imagine that on top of this red side, there is a half circle, all right, that goes all the way down. So we have essentially half of a tube, as if you took a tube and cut it lengthwise. And the same is done on the green side. So we also have a little half circle all the way down here. So we've got two sort of tunnel shapes or half tubes so that when they go together, we have a full tube that can be separated in half with a green bottom and a red bottom. Now, if we imagine that that is what this object is, when we accomplish the 180 degree twist, we still have a tube. It's just that the red half is twisted 180 degrees in space. It begins on the bottom and it winds up down here in my right hand at the top and the green does the opposite. If we twist again, we still have a complete tube, which means that when I connect the hoops together, I've just taken a tube and I've put the ends together and created a torus, a donut shape, a bagel shape. Then when I separate both of the halves by cutting along a two twist Mobius strip, I wind up taking my bagel, which just looked like a normal bagel, in fact was a normal bagel, and that cut produces two interlocked halves of the bagel. Now, I'm gonna start by doing this with a guide. That's right, we're gonna draw on a bagel. <laughs> you might not want your kids to see this. So, first of all, if I had a huge bagel, like the size of a hula hoop, this would be a lot easier because with a hula hoop sized bagel, I could stick a knife in and I could go all the way around just like normal, but then before I got back to where I started, I'd have a lot of room to move my knife 
and rotate it 360 degrees before I got back to where I was, introducing the two twists we need for the cut to be the shape of a two twist Mobius strip. However, that kind of 360 cutting is very difficult when you only have a tiny section of a bagel. So what we should do is spread that twist evenly throughout the bagel. And to make this even easier, instead of having to both uh, keep in mind the, the, the 360 degree rotation of the cutting knife in this plane, we can call this the uh, XY plane. And on top of that, the knife's rotation around the Z axis as I go around the bagel, let's remove that second case, that second issue and just rotate the bagel itself. Perfect. So let's say that we start here, boom, with the knife horizontally right into the bagel. Normally we would just go all the way around, 360 degrees with the bagel, get back to where we started, and we'd have a top and a bottom half. But we want the knife to twist. And if we want 360 degrees to fit within a 360 degree rotation, we need to match it like this. So that a quarter of the way through our rotation of the bagel, we have made a quarter of a full rotation like that. Okay, so I'm gonna be cutting in like this through that hole. And then by the time I've turned the bagel a quarter turn, the knife should be vertical up and down like this right here. Here. So I'm going from here to here, from here to here. Let's draw that path so it becomes very easy to follow from there to there. Now we're going to have a problem. The problem is that if I've already done 90 degrees of clockwise rotation and I need to do 90 more degrees, ooh, that's going to be a problem because our knife can't pass through the other side of the bagel. But what we can do is reposition our knife. So think of it this way. We go in like this, then we go up vertical, then we need to turn another 90 degrees clockwise. Ooh, but let's do that with the handle beneath this time. So we'll turn 90 degrees clockwise. All right, so on this side, we're in horizontally, but we've swapped the knife. So now, since I wanna draw a line that follows the handle's perspective, we're going to draw a line that goes from here, right? to here. So from the, uh, did I, yeah, I've got a little cut. Where does it come out the other end? Did I go all the way through? Yeah, there I go. From this hole up to that hole. And I'm just gonna draw that path so that I know which side of the bagel I want my handle to be on. Remember, this is equivalent to another 90 degree rotation of the knife. I'm going to do 90 degrees, okay? And then from here, I'll do 90 degrees. Perfect, and then from here, I need to do another 90 degrees clockwise, so I'll go from here to here. I can do that without having to swap the, without, without having to flip my knife, so that's good. We'll go up here, so we'll, when we've rotated the bagel three quarters of the way, I wanna be vertical again. Perfect, so let me connect these two lines, that entry point and that entry point. And we need to rotate another, a final 90 degrees clockwise. And again, this is gonna be tough if the handle's up here, because I'm gonna hit the other side of the bagel. So let's go ahead and reverse. And at that point, I'm gonna put my knife here and I'm gonna move up 90 degrees. Starting like this, up 90 degrees, back to where I started. So I'll draw that path from the handle's perspective from this hole up to the starting point. Okay, so now we've got some lines on our bagels and these are the lines that we're going to follow. If you can keep track of all of this in your mind, if you've practiced a little bit, it won't be too hard to do this without drawing on a bagel, and I'm gonna try that next. But this is just to show you why we have to flip the knife and that we truly are doing something that is equivalent to rotating the knife 360. Yes, we might uh, you know, flip it at some points, but we still are moving through 360 degrees with our knife. So here we go, where should I start? I forget which one was the actual starting point. Doesn't matter though, does it? Okay, so I'm gonna start up here and then my knife is going to follow that line. Nice fresh bagels work the best. If they're too crummy, it takes too much force to cut them and they can kind of fall apart. You want them to be a bit chewy and soft so they don't split. All right, now there's the other end and I just, oh, see, I'm getting a little bit of splitting, but that's fine. So here I am, all right? Knife handle is straight up. I wanna flip the knife for my next 90 degree rotation of the knife and I wanna follow this line. Okay, so let's watch myself do that. I'm gonna hold the bagel like this though, because I want to keep the same frame of reference throughout as best I can. Uh-oh, I'm kind of tearing it. 
be very careful. It's very easy to hurt yourself doing this. Do it at your own risk. Okay, now it's a little bit scrunched up, but that's okay. It's still gonna be delicious and mathematical. Uh, at this point, I don't need to flip my knife. I can keep following this line. Here's our third 90 degree turn. Yeah, good, that sawing motion is helping me a lot more. I should be doing more of that. Okay, and we're vertical again. Now, for the home stretch, I flip the knife, put it in like this. It's still a vertical line. The flipping is just uh, caused by the limitations of our tools. From here, I wanna pull the knife while cutting up along this path. Ready, here we go. Curling up, whoa, I'm getting that knife pretty close to my hand. Please guys, be careful. Take your time. All right, I've gone all the way through. This cut is a two twist Mobius strip. And as you can see, our bagel can be divided into two intact identical rings that are interlocked. Smear a little spread on that, serve it to your guests, and they will say, this is really hard to eat, but I love it. Merry Christmas. And as always, thanks for watching. Get on your sleigh, boy, your lips are delicious. Give me kisses for Christmas. Get on your sleigh. As promised, here I am cutting a bagel with no lines. I'm going to first rotate the knife 90 degrees, and then there's another 90 and another 90 for a total of 270. Here's the final 90 for the full 360. And what do you know, when you pull the bagel apart, we have two halves that are identical to one another. They're not even mirror images or anything, but they're interlocked with no seams or gaps. It will surely impress. And it's certainly fun to learn how to do. But again, guys, be careful, please. Knives are sharp and bagels, well, Let's just say they've got strong personalities. Wait, what's that? You want to see more footage of me cutting bagels? Well, good, because I do too. Here is some footage we shot earlier that didn't get into the episode where I cut a bagel with a single twist Mobius strip, uh, being the shape of the uh, cut. So right now I've cut the bagel uh, halfway around and my knife is rotated just 90 degrees clockwise. I'm going to rotate the knife another 90 degrees before I return to where I began. So there's a total of just 180 degrees of rotation of the knife, which means the surface of the cut is equivalent to a single twist Mobius strip. So when I'm finished, I won't get two separate halves uh, that are interlocked. I won't even get two separate things. I will just have a, well, it's, a, it's kind of strange. How would you describe this? It's basically a uh, bagel that's twice as far around, but only has one side. So when I finish, which I'm about to do here, watch how I pull the bagel apart. And of course I can't pull it apart, but I have gone all the way around and you can spread whatever you want, cream cheese, peanut butter, jam, all the way around without ever having to switch your knife to the, a different bagel half. See, look at that, beautiful. This is also a very fun way to cut bagels. It's a little bit simpler too, because you don't have to mo rotate the knife as much. So go out there and have some fun. And as always, Thanks for bagelin? Nah, kidding, just thanks for watching. That made no sense. Bageling. <laughs>